So I'm in the 20 BHS here and thought I'd show you one more thing. Um, this is the, uh, the bottom bunk. And so this was all just one piece here. And it was pretty annoying to be able to lift this up to access anything underneath here. And, um, and so I just cut some holes in, uh, so, you know, so I could put, you know, lift it up easily with my fingers. Um, and then I also just kind of cut this, this piece here. So then that way I can just easily access if I need to, I can easily access, um, you know, this water heater here or anything else down in here that, you know, might be, uh, you know, in there in storage. Uh, and then I also, I guess I didn't think about that. I also put on, um, the, the insulation here, uh, uh, so that it's it's insulated because in my case I have uh, an inverter charger underneath there um, and that puts out some heat so I want it to insulate it so it's not a bunch of heat uh, rising up um, and, and getting through here and heating up this whole this whole bed so and then one of the next things I'll do I already added over here some vents um, because that inverter charger is in there so this will allow I had uh, these were just extra vents I had from when I had done this uh, the Truma um, combi, uh, you know, furnace and water heater. Um, so I just put these, I just drilled these in and this just allows, you know, air to breathe. Um, these aren't actually hooked up to ducts or anything like that. And then I also actually, I might as well mention it. So then because that inverter charger is in there and if I drill these holes in here, I want to have a cross breeze, right? Like a natural cross breeze and then obviously hot air rises. So that's where, um, I put it in here so that, uh, I put this vent here, right? So then that way the hot air can rise up because it's it's cut on the underside. Uh, this isn't just a, a wall by itself. On well, on the other side of it, at the bottom, it's it's open, right? So it doesn't have this paneling on the other side. So that way the hot air can rise up uh, in in the wall cavity and then just rise up out uh, out of this and just kind of have that na natural convection going. And then, you know, of course, if we have this open, then that's going to have the fan blowing out and that will help draw it as well so that it doesn't uh, get too hot underneath there. So, uh, but anyway, the idea here was just to show you that um, you can use, uh, you know, just rip this down to give you an easier access panel and cut a little finger hole in there for you as well. And, you know, these little things I, I think are helpful and they aren't, aren't too difficult to do.